Welcome to Prevention Saves. I'm Alice McCaffrey, Director of Sullivan County Anti-Drug Coalition. And with us today is Gray Hatcher. She is a senior at Sullivan East High School. And she was a Bristol Youth Leadership graduate who worked on a community service project for the coalition. So Gray? Thanks for talking to me today about the project and what you learned. Um, before we get started, people may not know about Bristol Youth Leadership, so would you like to talk a little bit about... Absolutely, I would love to. BYL is an organization set up by the Bristol Chamber of Commerce that gets all of the different high schools in the area to come together and do different service projects, such as the one we did with the Sullivan County Anti-Drug Coalition. There was also, I believe, one with the um, YWCA and their dress collection and prom service that they did recently, as well as working with young children at that center, helping raise them and produce fine young women. What was the most important thing you learned while working on the community service project? Mostly I learned a lot of stuff that I did not know about our area, specifically that we're so high on the list of substance abuse, aka opioids, and that was a kind of an eye-opener for me. I didn't realize that we were so high up there and how frequently it was used amongst high school students necessarily. felt like by using and learning that, I could take the knowledge that I learned from this and apply it into high school. Great. So there was a lot of things that you had to learn as part of the community service project, but the outcome was you needed to produce a PSA for us. Could you talk about your Count It, Lock It, Drop It PSA? Yeah. So for the Count It, Lock It, Drop It PSA, we got together one day, and everybody produced a bunch of different facts, and we selected from the list of facts some of our favorites that we thought were really eye-opening or shocking to us necessarily more than any of the other facts. And when we put it together, we recorded ourselves in different locations, trying to produce a more interesting video. And then I went home that night, and I used iMovie to produce a string of videos. And then I backdropped a harp music of me playing in the background, and we produced a PSA. I didn't know that was you in the background. That's nice to know. Um, so, our show is called Prevention Saves. When you think about your community service project, what would you say is saved by your efforts? For me personally, I believe that through Sullivan County Ant Anti-Drug Coalition and the education that I've received through the BYL program, I was able to go to my school and realize how abused the substances really were in our area. And I was able to kind of go and help and be like, hey, you probably should not use prescription drug medication. Here's how you can do it. There's a Sullivan County Anti-Drug Coalition, counter pills. There's a count it, lock it, drop it box located in like four locations. The, there's the Bluntville Sheriff's Department, the Bluff City Sheriff's Department, the Bristol Sheriff's Department, and I believe Kingsport, is that right? Yeah, yeah. Kingsport, and you can drop off your medications that are just kind of sitting around in your cabinet that you're not going to use, you can drop them off there and they will be taken care of and handled in the correct way. Great. So I really did preach that that would be a good Excellent. use. So when you think about your entire BYL experience, what was the most fun that you had? Well, I think I'd have to say that I really did enjoy the learning experience with this project. I'd never used iMovie before and that was a real opening like eye-opening experience for me, as well as I really learned how to produce like knowledge that I didn't know before. We kind of got to study on our own, which I really liked because I got to go more in depth with it. Mm -hmm. So I could learn my own, re like research on my own, figure out what I really didn't know that I was too naive to understand at the time. Good. Well, I know that um, you were a great leader for this project, so it's very good to hear that there were good things that you got out of it mm -hmm. that helped with your learning too. So if you had an opportunity to talk to the community and tell them what to do to get more involved, what would you say to the people living in Sullivan County? Um, I would tell them that, there, of course, there are Sullivan County Anti-Drug Coalition meetings that they have. I think it's every other, it's bi-monthly. Mm -hmm. 
and I would tell them that those are very good, but also just contacting them and talking about the lock boxes that they can produce and help lock up your drugs, keep them safe, keep them out of harm's way, keep them out of children's reach. Because the majority of the time we don't really realize, but it's mostly the way that teenagers and young children are able to get to opioid prescriptions is just going to the medicine cabinet themselves. They don't have to go out and really Very hunt good. for them. So do you have any tips for parents, caregivers, grandparents, particularly for them? Like I said, lock drop boxes where you can lock up your medication. It'll make it harder to reach. Again, the drop boxes where you can go drop them off your prescriptions at the locations and just counting your pills, making sure they're all there. Every time you take one, subtract one so that you can keep up with it and know if there's one missing or not. Okay, great. Well, thank you, Gray, for coming and talking to us about your BYL project. It was great working with you on that project and seeing you again. And thank you, everyone, for listening to Prevention Saves. You can find more information at our website, www.scadc.org. And our motto is learn, prevent, share. Thank you.